Hello guys, it's a new season, it's the second season, so let's get into it, let's cue that intro. Oh no, and welcome back to the Real Madrid career mode, and today we are going to start season two, uh, where we look at, obviously, the team, what our new objectives are, and what basically... What needs doing really um so just before we start i just want to say thank you guys for the recent likes and comments recently and i just want to say thank you to all new subscribers for subscribing so thank you guys for that as well and if you ain't yet hit that subscribe button please hit that subscribe button as it does really help and don't forget to like the video as well so thank you guys for that so uh first things first i did have a look at just beforehand, if oh, actually just before we advanced to the new season, uh, just to see if we can get any more coaches. And we did get a few coaches who are five star. As you can see, you got a bronze one there, um, and we've got a, f a couple of gold uh, ones there. I don't know if we can get any more uh, good. I know there's this one here, but we don't really need him. Although we could take him, we could take him actually. We could have him for the defense, I guess uh yeah do you know what we'll have that position for the defense why not um but after that i don't think there's any more good five star yeah there's no five star uh coaches i'm afraid so yeah that's a bit unfortunate um so yeah we've got a new coach there so that's good uh let's just quickly do the training plan before i forget um so we've got to do performance for all players so there we go and obviously we do have our players who have come back from uh, on loans as well so we'll have a look at that in a second let's look at our new objectives and i've already seen one that we've got to do uh youth development we've got to have at least one player play 50 percent of the games that's not going to happen uh brand exposure though 12 wins in home league game home league matches we should be able to do that one and we do have to sign a spanish player which is fine Obviously, we've got to retain the Champions League and win the Copa del Rey and the La Liga again. But the one I'm a bit afraid of is this one. Three crucial players and a 10... Oh, not a 10 million, 106 million pound profit. Ah, that's annoying because I don't know what we're going to do with that. Um, so let's just quickly get rid of all of that as well. Um, so looking at the first team, I, don't, I literally can't think of anywhere that could be upgraded. I know maybe left back and centre back because Rudiger obviously uh, is only 87. He's 31 now. And obviously Davies hasn't that hasn't grown that well. So I could see left back and centre back. I think Militao will keep Militao and obviously Trent. And then in midfield, we've got Bellingham, Bruno Fernandes and Valverde, which is sticking. And then... Maybe up front, Rodrigo. I mean, if we can get Rodrigo on a rotation, maybe. And then maybe, I don't know, sign Haaland or something just to go up front and then put Mbappe out on the wing. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of. Or Osman or one of the two. Um, just to make that attack a bit more better. Because I think we can get Rodrigo on a rotation. Um, but then it ruins the attack then, doesn't it, if we do that? Um, but then he will go in place for Brahim, who has... Uh, well, I mean, Brahim's not too bad. I mean, we could get rid of... Uh, oh, actually, I want to keep Sanset because he's a good centre mid. Good uh, Cam, who's good at defending as well. Um, so, yeah, there's that. So, and obviously, we've got to get rid of all of these players that we don't need. I think we'll keep Gula and obviously Marin. I mean, maybe upgrade the goalkeeper instead of Looney and have a better backup goalkeeper to Courtois. Uh, maybe a Spanish goalkeeper that we could sign. That might be a, a good thing as well. Let's just quickly have a look at that second team whilst we're here. Let's go to the team sheets. Um, so, yeah, we may be the centre-back, uh, maybe the goalkeeper. Get a good goalkeeper who can play back up to uh, that Courtois. And maybe the future goalkeeper. And then maybe put Rodrigo on out on the wing. Maybe. I mean, we've got Chua Meni who's 88 as well. Nico Williams is 87. I mean... That's not a bad second. That's not a bad second team, and it all depends on whether we could um, whether we could put Rodrigo on a rotation contract. Can we put? Oh, he actually wants rotation. Okay, yeah. So that that's <laughs> I think that settles our plan then. So what we're gonna do? I know some of you guys might hate this one, but I think just to you know just to make our team just a bit well, just we've just got to do that. Uh, release clause thing uh, not that release clause that objective to sign three crucial first team players so we will do that 
Um, so it will be a centre back, left back, and a striker at some least. Um, whether or not it be Haaland, Osserman, you know, one of the two, or maybe a, even a winger who's just as good as Vinicius Junior and Rodrigo. But I have to have a look to see who we sign there. Um, let's go on to the squad hub as well. And let's just quickly sort out all of these players. So, yeah, Renier, we don't need. Marin can go. Vallejo can go. Marvin can go. Uh, Latassa can go. Gula can go back on, on loan. Uh, and then Lunin, probably we might as well just keep and then maybe use him to buy a backup goalkeeper. Uh, but, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the first team. Um, I'll just quickly have a look to see if any of the first team needs new contracts. So Finishes Junior needs a new contract, so let's just quickly do him. Um, we'll probably need a couple that need to do uh, first team contracts too. So he wants a two-year deal, which is fine. Uh, let's accept that as well. And the, the wages, I don't know. Uh, let's just give him... 280 he's a 92 now and he wants to that's fine so there we go vinicius jr um is there anyone else that needs a new contract let's keep going nico williams wants a new contract let's give him one uh you might want sporadic okay that's fine <laughs> you can have sporadic if you like uh you will be playing games don't worry about that mate um and he wants a wage increase which is fine so there we go. Nico Williams is now done. Is there any more that we need to give a new contract to? No. So that's pretty much it. I mean, Gula wants a new contract. Let's give him a new contract, even though he's going out on loan. Um, but we'll keep him. Um, so let's just do sporadic, I guess, for him. And he's already got a five-year contract. Uh, disregard release clause. He wants release clause, but that's fine. Let's just get rid of that. And he wants a bit of a wage increase, which is totally fine. So there we go. Welcome back to the team, Gula. Uh, we also need to get rid of all of these guys. Hopefully we'll do that. Um, Fran Garcia is still out on loan, which is good. So I think he's out on loan for another year, isn't he, Fran Garcia? Um, so I think looking at it, it is literally just a couple more transfers that we have to do. Um, so... It's got to be a left-back, centre-back and a striker of sorts and then maybe a Spanish goalkeeper. Um, the only Spanish goalkeeper I can think of is Unai Simon, maybe. Um, but I'm not too sure what his overall is. But we'll have a look at that next episode, I think. Um, the youth objective, have we done that? Yes. Uh, no, we don't have to do that because that's a long-term one. Uh, so I think we are pretty much done for today. I know it's a bit of a short one today guys um but it is literally just to look at what we needed to do for this season so just a couple transfers next episode and then obviously if we got time as well we'll start selling players and uh, go towards that liverpool game and hopefully uh play that liverpool game um well we've got the liverpool uh what's it majiggy the liverpool uh uefa super cup against liverpool so they must have won the Europa League so yeah so look forward to that so anyway guys that is going to be it for today so like I said a bit of a short one but hopefully you guys will understand you know it's a bit of a short one we always do these ones at the start of the season anyway so yeah so a bit of a get a bit of a sign-ins to look up for now that's my job next so yeah I'm actually going to end it here for today so please like comment and subscribe and I shall see you guys next time so right guys I'm going bye